Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today our spirit is a dry gin from England. It's the Cod World's Dry Gin. 46% ABV, unchill filtered and it's said to be a classical gin. So they get their, uh, their juniper from uh, the hill, the snow hill, snows, snows hill, that's what they called. Um, and it's just neighboring to the distillery. Also, they're adding fresh limes and grapefruit because they think that if you have them fresh, you're losing less of the, yeah. the oils, the etheric oils that just give the flavor to the whiskey. Then we have cardamom seed, we have um, obviously juniper, we have pepper, corn, uh, pepper with pepper seeds, and um, angelic root, angelica roots. So it's quite a classical gin and dry means it's not any any funky stuff in there there's no added sugar after distillation so it's a yeah it's a it's a gin if you have a dry gin it's not one of these yeah mixed stuff substances but it's a a real gin and it's an english dry gin so yeah, they do know how to make a gin Ooh, oh, it's nice. It's a, uh, you immediately see it's a classical gin with a lot of juniper in it. The first thing that you have in your nose is a, a strong sense of juniper. And it feels like just like a forest, a juniper bush in the forest. But it has a, a distinctive spicy notes. So spicy notes as in cardamom and, and pepper. I'm really a bit missing the uh, lime and the grapefruit. It's not as fresh and fruity. Mm. 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 Oh, same as in the, in the nose. Mm. You have that that round feeling that you get from from your gin also a little bit of a, a ooh, very strong juniper taste and a little bit of a, a pelty feeling you know when you have a juniper seed corn what it's called grain uh, i think a juniper seed it is when you when you bite on it and it it really has that really distinct uh taste on your on your tongue and then you have that pelty feeling that that um yeah, that gives just a bit of a tranquilizing feeling. That's what I call that I want to say. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. When you bite on a, a juniper, then it numbs your tongue a little bit. And that feeling is a little bit mirrored here with that, with that gin, mm. and it's quite strong with a lot of spiciness. It feels like a bit of a, a bitterness, like a grapefruit peel oil bitterness. Mm -hmm. In the first try, I just it felt a little bit like an um, European oak bitterness. It's just a a remembrance. Maybe I just yeah, you know, I just have too much whiskey that that I just always compare it to whiskey. Mm -hmm. Oh, it can cope with the, with the, um, with the, um, with the tonic water really well. So it's nice, a nice which mixture between that sweetness of the tonic water and that strong spiciness and a lot of juniper feel in the, um, in the gin tonic. And I like it. It's just. Mm. Oh, mm pretty good mm, i like it mm. Ah, mm. yeah it's a it's a good one it's a it's a nice classical gin and that's why a gin is so good for your gin and tonic because it can just cope with that with that taste so good and it just complements it you have that nice sweetness of the 
tonic water. You have that bitterness that is somehow similar, but also a little different to the bitterness that we have in that gin because that other uh, that one comes from the I think from, from plants and herbs and the other one comes from the lime and the grapefruit it just mix intermixes really well I think that's one that's a really good um, gin for mixing in a gin and tonic but it can also be um, tasted neat mm. yeah I like it mm. but be aware this is a, a strong one a spicy one that um, has a lot of kick to it. 46%, nice thing. I like it. So yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.